Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is a paper, October 2021, and variant 53. So complete probability and statistics paper. We are going to start. Question number one. 26 members of local sports club include Mr. and Mrs. Khan. Okay. And their son, Abad. This club holding a party to celebrate Abad's birthday. So, if but there is only one, only room for the 20 people to attend. So this, in how many ways this 20 people can choose in from 26 members? Given that important part, Mr. and Mrs. Khan and Abad must include. So I will do one thing. So Mr. So Mrs. Khan and son, all three members I count. And out of 26, three gone, so 23 left. So, <clears throat> so what is method? Because he said that it must include all three. So all three means three C three. So three C three for the these three people. But I need total 20, 20, 20, he said, 20. So out of 20, uh, so 23 left. So from 23, I need 20, sorry, not 20. Because three, I have taken already 17 left. So it means from 23, I need 17. And 3C3 is one, you know it very well. If upper number and down number same, it give you one. So, this is just type in calculator or I'm typing now. This answer <clears throat> is coming 100947. So answer is 100947. Question number next. So Lakeview and Riverside are two schools. Okay. The pupils at both schools took part in a competition to see the how far how far they could they could throw a ball. Distances thrown to nearest meters by eleven people of the each school. This means these are eleven values: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And draw back-to-back -back stem leaf diagram to represent this information with lake view on the left hand side. It means lake view on the left hand side. And second school, Riverside. Okay. So let's see how we can do it. But before we start, what we'll do, students, we will we will make a plan here. Okay, Emeka. And this we have to make in the middle. Okay. What are the best methods, students? You have to look carefully about the smallest value and the largest value. But smallest and largest value from the both. Okay, this is a very, very important. So let's see how we can find out the smallest and largest values from the both. Okay. Hmm. So smallest value from both is very clear. See from the smallest value. I can see this 10 number. Any smallest number? I don't think so. 10 is the smallest number. So smallest value. And largest value. All right, the down no issue at all. So largest value, if you see 25, no, 36, no, um, 30, no, 41. Yeah, 41 is the largest among both, among the whole group, okay, up both schools, so 41. So students, uh, what I will do, what I will do, wait a minute. I will leave one digit from right side always, and I will take these numbers. So one, two, three, four, one, two, 
three, four. Okay, now I will cut one number and put in order. For example, let's start with the lake view. I can cancel, cancel this 10. I am right, right, writing here zero. Okay. I cancel this one. Let me see any number with a one. So I think this is a number with a one and this two numbers. So I'm can I think this order is management in order. So it's not a trouble. Sometimes this no upper numbers mostly in orders, but down numbers are not in orders. Anyway, no problem. 14, 19, I write a four, I write nine. Now 22, 26, 27, 28. So all numbers starting with two. So two. So 22, 26, 27, 28. Now this all cancel out. Okay. 30s, th the three numbers with 30s. 0, 2, and 3. I cancel them as well. And 41 is coming the last number. I hope so. You understood well. Now the lower one, Riverside, the smaller uh, number, smallest number, if you check it carefully, 18 coming two, two times. So I cut both 18 and write eight here, I write eight here. Then after 18 students, next, uh, any number with A1? No, no number with one. Now starting with the 20, this two zero, 20, and then 21. Okay, I write two, two zero and one. And then I talk about the next numbers, which is uh, 23, 23, 24, 25. So three, four, and five. What if I have one more 25 here? And then I think so, any 20 number? No, not three is 30, 37, and 36. So zero, six, and seven. Zero, six, and, and seven. Now I must write scale. Okay, what is the scale writing technique? You know it very well. One minute. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So let's try scale writing. Sorry, uh, what's called key writing. So what is the key writing? I can take any number. I can take these numbers. I can take these numbers. I can take from here, this number with this number. No issue at all. Okay. And I take, um, for example, this two, two, and zero. So how to write it? So two slash Okay, make a different numbers, it can create issue. So that is why better to write from here seven, from here two and from here three. So seven, two and three means. So, <clears throat> and what is this word? Let me tell you, these are the, uh, these are the, you know, meters, distance meters. Okay, we have write meters. Okay, so. For example, how to read from read read from this end? So 27 meters. Okay. We'll write here. So this is 27 meter come from lake. So uh so 27 meter distance from lake view school. And well, how to read this one? So read from this side. So 23. So 23 meter from river side school. I believe you got a point very clear, students. The fine interquartile range of distance thrown the 11 people of the lake view. So again, I have, a, I have to concentrate here. Interquartile formula, you know, upper quartile minus lower quartile. Upper quartile formula is three fourth of n plus one. N is 11, you know it very, because 11 people from both schools. So 3 fourth of 11 plus 1, 12. So fourth, ninth term. I'm looking for the ninth term. So how to get a ninth term student count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this 3 to 32. So low upper quartile is coming here, 32 meters. Let's talk about the lower quartile. Lower quartile is one fourth of n plus one. This formula don't show him. No, if you don't want to show the examiner, no problem. Just for sake of your understanding. I got a third term, and third term is one, two, three. So 19. So lower quartile is 19 meters. <clears throat> 
And what is intercotyle? You have to write upper cotyle answer minus low cotyle answer. Upper is 32, lower is 19. Answer is coming 13 meters. And I believe you got a point very clear. Let's talk about question number next. <clears throat> question number next is three. It's a time taken in minutes. So it means time taken in minutes for 360 employees and a large company to travel from home to work. Summarizes this following table. They take different, for example, 23 people take, um, employees take uh, zero to five minutes to reach the office from home to work. 102 takes uh, take the time from zero to five to 10 minutes. And majority of people take a 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, this is a whole story. Let's start with histogram. And histogram, we have to always look upon, especially one thing. Is this number same or different? Five, five matching, this is okay. 10, 10 matching, okay. 20, 20 matching. Sometimes student, this number is not matching with that. Like this is a five. And here we have a six. Here 10, here we have 11. These kind of questions, we subtract them and divide by two, we got a 0 0.5. 0 0.5 add in this number and 0.5 subtract this number. Again, 0 0.5 add this number and 0.5 subtract this number. So that is option when we have a, these things are not separate. But luckily here is same, so no need as that is called class boundaries. What I said to you just now is called class boundaries. Now, no need of class boundaries. Now we, we're going to do a uh, frequency density and formalize frequency by class word. And I just show you class frequency is 23. I'm writing for you class with the five minus zero. So the difference of these numbers. So 23 by, uh, by five, I'm getting 4.6. Second, I'm just showing, I will show two columns work only. This is a one zero and difference of 10 and five. 10 and five is a five difference. And if I just check it, 20.4 is my answer. And rest, I'm, I'm showing directly. Two columns I showed, next three columns, I just show you directly. So 135 by gap, you can show on the top. Okay, look the way students is tape, save our time. Five gap, what is the different class with five, class with five, 10, 10, and 20. The chance of mistake reduces this way. Okay. And now 135 by 10, so 13.5. 76 by 10, so 7.6. And 24 by 20. If you type in calculator, 24 by 20, we get a one. Wait a minute. Yeah, 1.2. Now, students, how to draw? <clears throat> how to draw histogram? Sometimes there is some trick. Mostly this topic is very easy. Okay, we have to look upon time in minutes. So I'm writing here time in minutes. Time in minutes. Okay. And what is the number of employees? So I'm writing here. <clears throat> okay, this is done. Now you have to look upon carefully <clears throat> starting from zero, ending 50. So if I take a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I think it's the best. So zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, along y-axis, what is the highest frequency that you have to look here clearly, okay? So 20 is the highest, 20. So it means if I take, uh, uh, for example, uh, so, for example, 4, 8, 10, 12, 14. No, no, it's not, it's not working this way. 5, 10, 15, 20. In this part, we can work even. I think this is because mostly students, we have to take it such a way uh, that we can make it easily. Okay. If I make it here, 5, 10, 15, 20, whole graph will come in this region, this region. Okay. If I make it some extra, it will go out of boundary. So that is why is it better to go for the five here, this 10 here, this 15 here, and 20 here. Okay, now let's start. First, starting from zero, ending at five, height is 4.6. 4.6 is where? 4.6, but here in, is another trouble is coming. So, you know, like check. let me check. Is it possible even numbers? I think, um, 
Yeah, I think this is okay, not a big problem. So five divided by 10, so one box is 0. 0.5. And if into two, into two, so two box is one. Repeat my words, one box is a 0. 0.5 and two box is one. You want to see, look at here, this is one, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four and five. And I believe you got the point. So I think this is a way we have to do it. If we're looking for 4.5, so there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's a 4.5. So I believe this point is very clear. Now let's see how we can find 4.6. So 4.6. So look now here, students. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There's a 4 already. And this uh, is a half box, 4.5, slightly up, slightly up. And 0 to 5, sorry, he said 0 to 5. So 0 to 5. And this graph, this diagram, I have to label. <laughs> now, next is a 5 to 10. Uh, 5 to 10, height is 20.4. Where is 20.4, students? 20 is naturally here. So this is a two box up is 21. And the middle is a 20.5. This number is 20.5. But I'm looking for four, so slightly under, not a one complete half box. So it means it means this is a. Let me check. Yeah. And let me check five to ten. Yeah, is okay. And now I'm going to join. This line is slightly right, so I have to make it okay. Okay, now I just shade. Shading is not compulsory if you shade good. Otherwise, not a compulsory part of the topic. Next is uh, starting from 10, ending at 20, and height is 13.5. Where is 13.5? 13.5. This is a 10. Two box up is, let me label, 11, 12, 13. This is a 13.5. In one minute, please. Okay. So 13.5, but how much? 10 to 20. So it means student 10 to 20, this 10 to 20. So 13.5, it is here, I think. Okay. All right. Next column is starting from 20, ending at 30, and height is 7.6. 7.6. Where is 7? Let's see. There's a five, two box up is six, then two box seven, 7.5 7 is here. So it means 7.5 is here. Hold on, let me see, six, seven, seven point five, slightly up. Okay, and let's see 20, 30, correct. 20, 30 is okay. And this is my final answer. And let's talk about the last one. Uh, uh, 30 to 50 and height is 1.2. So 1.2 is where? For your knowledge, two boxes, one. So this is a one. This is a one. This is a 1.5. This is a 1.5. So this is slightly below 1.5. So um, 1.2. Okay. I believe student understanding. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. This is done. And this is course part is over. Next part. I'll calculate and estimate the mean time for the employee to travel. Okay, it means we have to find for two marks. And for mean student, we have a, let me check if any part is under it. Mean or deviation? No, only mean. So student, what is the technique to get a mean? We will make, a, actually we make two columns for this kind of thing. Okay, two columns. <clears throat> you can make one column also because two marks, no need to show full working, but just sake of your proper understanding. So this is called mid class, represent by X and frequency already given by him F. So here I write FX. So I just show once two columns in detail, rest I will do directly. How to find the mid class? Add them, divide by two. Look, I show you zero plus five divided by two. I got a 2.5. So how to get mid class of this? So five plus 10, 15 divided by two. I got a 7.5. And how to get Fx? So this F, X value and F value multiply. So 22.5 into 23. So 2.5 <clears throat> into 23. 
and let me check what answer coming. It means 2.5 into FX, sorry, uh, 23 into 2.5. I'm getting 57.5. Same story, students. I will go for F for this and X for this. So these two values multiply. FX, so 102 into 7.5. And 102 into 7.5, and I'm getting here 765. So next three columns, I am doing student directly. No need of showing working because you understand well now. So what is the <clears throat> third column average? 10 plus 20, 30 by 215. So 20 plus 30, 50 divided by 225. So add them, we've got an 80 divided by 2, got a 40. And I believe, student, you're understanding how I got a 40, 25, and 15. And now Fx. So this F and X multiply. So this 20, 135, 15 multiply. So 135 into 15. <clears throat> I'm getting 2025. And next, I'm multiplying 25 from here and six, 76 from here. And the value I'm getting 1900. And last, this into this, so 40 times 2, 40 times 2, 24. <clears throat> so 960. Okay, student, I will take this whole data and, and, and I bring it down. Okay. So this data is very clear now. <clears throat> and what is the mean formula? Mean formula is sigma fx by sigma f. It means student, uh, sig what sigma means sum, sum of this column. I will add all these values in the numerator. And I will not waste your time because there's only two mark question. And this is a sigma F means frequency all values add. And total, if you add all frequency, you get what? 360. So I will not waste your time even. Even exam, you can save your time. I'm using my calculator and I'm adding all these numbers. And wait and watch, 57.5 plus 765 plus 2025 plus 1900 and 960. The number I'm getting is 5707.5. And divide by 60, my mean answer is coming 15.85416. But I need, I need, I need, I don't want. So 15.9. <clears throat> so I believe you got a point very clear. This is a way to handle this question. Okay. Let's go question number next, which is number four. So question number four, we have what here? Do we have to read first? <clears throat> so question number four. Question number four, Raj wants to improve his fitness. So every day he goes for a run. The time in minutes, so make sure in minutes. So run says normal distribution. This word help us to understand this topic of normal distribution. And mean is given 41.2. And I am writing this. Otherwise, chance of mistake, eyesight can catch a wrong number. So writing technique is a very best and precautionary measures. <clears throat> the probability randomly chosen day, Raj runs more than 42. So probability... So time in minutes are more than 43.2. So, you know, we have a special formula. Formula is that if we have a, some data, it is not a normal format, we can convert. And after converting, this is called Z. This value I will use from here, mean and deviation, you know it very well. <clears throat> so let's start. As I will use this formula here, I will write immediately T as a Z. So 43.2 minus mean and divided by deviation 3.6. And students, if I type this in calculator, <clears throat> so it is coming with us 0 0.5556. But you know, we have to look always 3 dp because, okay, so this is 0 0.556. By, by 3DP, I'll, I'm going to show you what is the logic. Okay, so it is clear. And after this, I will draw a bell shape. 
there's a positive value, you know, left well, left hand side, negative value, right hand side, positive value. So we have to make it positive because according to question. So I will write this number here, 0 0.556. But how to read it? It is called Z is this sign is called bigger. And bigger for your knowledge is right hand side is bigger. This is bigger. This is called lesser. But here bigger. And you know, when we see the <clears throat> probability distribution table, it always give you value from left hand side, always left hand side. So, the, but it means if I use phi of 0 0.556, it will give you white region. But I need the other one region. So, you know, the sum of the whole probability is one. So, one minus that. Okay. <clears throat> so, I think you understood. And now, one minute, please. Let me show you. Okay, wait a minute. Probability distribution table. Okay, students. So, How do you use it? So the number was what you know, phi of 0 0.556. The 0 0.5 is where it left section here. The, this line he talked about. So this 0 0.5 come from left side, done. This next five is coming from here. So this value he is asking. And this section of the addition, so this number. You see 3DP, enough. So 0 0.7088 I got from here. And this 20, I will add right hand side, make sure. So 0 0.7, uh, this is 8, this is a 0, and 7108. So it means, and you see this diagram, it gives you always from the left hand side till that number. So this area, if you want to know it, it will never give you from right side, make sure. So I got how much 0 0.7108. So let's move on. So it means this answer is 0 0.7108. And after subtracting, I got 0 0.289. So this is a not this is after rounding. Actually, this number is <clears throat> this number is actually 0 0.2892. But after 3SF, it becomes this answer. Okay, let's go for the part next. Find and estimate for the number of days. Make sure number of days he's asking for. Okay, estimate. Sometimes you use the word estimate. Sometimes you use the word expected value. Or expected number of days. So we have a formula. Mu is equal to NP. Mu is equal to NP. This is, this is called expected value. So we have expected value, we have E, or we have E of X, or we have a mean. All these four things are same. Okay, and even estimate the word, estimate the number of days, estimate, okay. So this is the whole thing. So on which the Raj runs less than this much. So Raj length, uh, length time is what? Less than 43.2 minutes. So how many days total we have? Three. So mu is equal to 365. If, I'm, if I get a probability from here, I will multiply and I'll get my answer. But the thing is that less than 43.2. Uh, this is a, look at here, this is a, if you look at carefully, almost we can do it easily reason because this is a more than 43.2 and this is less than 43.2. So naturally, if you follow it, that the probability I got on the top is this one. So this is coming actually 0 0.2892, which I got before. So this is a probability of that, but now situation comes for this is what? It means this answer will be one minus this value. So 0 0.2892, and this becomes 0 0.7108. So this is a probability less than that. So no need to waste time. So I'm looking for the mean and you know it very well what to do now. So this probability value 0 0.7108 is coming here. And if you multiply, <clears throat> so multiply 365 days. So it is giving us 259.442 days. So, uh, you know, this is days. So estimated days. So days, I can write the word days, even no issue at all. But it is not a whole number and we have to write a whole number. Uh, so I need, I need, I need, I don't want, we should add no. So answer is coming 259 days. 
So I hope so. The concept is very clear. And this question <clears throat> number four is completely over. Let's go for next question. So 90% on 90% of the day of Raj runs to more than T minutes and find the T. So 95% of days. It means days are time is, or you can days are 90% uh, of more than time. We can say time even, no problem. So run more than T times is how much we can say 95%. Or 95%, 95 by 100 is 0 0.95. I can put two more zeros even, no problem. And students, you know, <clears throat> you know, whenever we have uh, probabilities given, okay? First of all, this is not normal format. I have to go it. If we go for conversion, you know, it very well T minus mean by deviation. And mean, we have how much? 41.2. And 3.6. Let me recheck 41.23.6. Okay. So this number you leave as it is or assume as A. Both are okay. No problem. You can do directly even. This make less burden of working. Okay. 9500. Now students. So it means bigger than A. Bigger than A means this number is bigger than A. Uh, but problem is we are have here, if I go for bigger than A and I assume A as a positive number, so what happens to, and I just show you once, okay. Uh, this is an answer, is a call, white region is a one minus phi of A. You know it very well. Okay, because this white region is phi of A, that, but I need a reddish region, one minus that, equal to 0 0.9500. If I bring this other side, this on this side, what happens, phi of A is equals to 0. Uh, zero, if I subtract, <clears throat> so it is giving 0 0.05. But problem is that this is not in our, our table because lowest value in the table is 0 0.5 and above. So it means this is not acceptable. 0 0.05 is not acceptable. So it means this working is we cannot continue. Just write not possible. If we show this much to examiner, no problem at all. If we don't show, even no problem. We can understand from me as a teacher, I saw that. So this is bigger than 0.5, but after subtracting one, it will become smaller. So I can say here, let A is negative. So then I'll start once again from here. So student, now I'll assume A value is negative. You see? This negative is left hand side. And how to read Z is more than negative value means this part is called more. And because diagram is symmetrical, if I make it the same region and right hand side, this is a called positive. And this region and this region are same, equals to each other. And now I'll use this one student. And what is this from left to call left, left to right? This is called phi of A. Phi of A. So it means this is phi of A. And this is 0 0.95. Phi of what number we will find from the table? 0 0.95, make sure students. So I'm going to tell now 0. Uh, 0 0.95. But I, I will check one, tell one thing. Every time we'll start some critical values mentioned under it here. So this is a probabilities. And luckily the number which you're looking for, the probability is given by him, 0 0.95, okay? And the Z value is 1.6. Four, five. So it's save our time. That is why whenever you look for the reverse value, so first of all, look these numbers. Okay, and if you go for other way, we get the same answers. Look at here, 0 0.9500. 0 0.9500. So it means what is the uh, situation here? <clears throat> so I think up till here, you understood? Hmm. So if you check 0 0.95 from here, 95, this is 95, 9495, this one. So come from here, 1.6, from top four. And if it go in section of five, it is the same answer. So 1.645.
So no need to waste your time. I think you got my point. So it means I can write directly here 1.645. Five I cancel, I got 1.645. But as I said, negative answer. So what is the A value coming? Negative 1.645. Okay, student, this is done. And now I'll plug in this number here in this equation. So get ready, this equation I will just copy. And I paste here. And I'm going to plug in this A value here. So I'm erasing and putting the value. So this will multiply and T this will add. So let me calculate directly. So 3.6 into negative 1.645. And I'm adding 41.2. And answer is coming with me 35.278. So <clears throat> I hope so. You got a point very clear. And if you round it, 3SF, 35.2 is my answer. So I hope so. The point is very clear. And let's go for next question. <clears throat> question number next, we have five number. A security code consists of two... Uh, uh, <clears throat> So two letters followed by the four digits. It means diagram, I just make it. One, two, three, four, five. It means four boxes is for digits, okay? And two boxes for alphabets. Okay, he mentioned here, two letters followed by the four digits, okay. <clears throat> the letter are chosen from this one. So I'm writing here. A, B, C, D, and E. I have to select how many from here? Two. So make sure I have to select from here two. Okay. All right. And from this one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to select four from here. So let's see how we can do it. So how we can student can do this question? He said, may, how, how many different codes can be formed? So this out of this five digit, two will come. And let me write it here. This is two for only for alphabetics, okay? For letters. And these four spaces for only digits, I think clear. But problem is that, <clears throat> what is the technique? He said that uh, out of five, I cannot take all five. Okay, I cannot take all five. I have two techniques. If I from five, he said the word chosen, okay? So I have to select two, first of all, okay? What is called selecting? Five, C, two. And I selected two, and after selecting those two numbers, for example, A and E, and I put in a two ways, A before E later, or E before A later. So it means two, they have two orders, so 2P2. Two but I just tell you one thing. If you, tie, if you type 5C2 and into 5C2 into 2P2, okay, or you just do it uh, 5P2, so they have same answer. So it means, but I'm just teaching both techniques. So if I, if I say that out of five, I need two to arrange here. So I can write this answer or I write 5P2 also. No problem at all. Or first I select two letters from here. This is called five out of five, select two. And after selecting, I put them arranged in an order. So this answer and this answer same. Now the same process, I'll go for it. From seven, I, I need a four. So seven C4. It means any four, I have selected them. And now I want to put them in order, 4P4. So this answer, or you can write 7P4. So both uh, techniques are correct. And I believe you got a point how I got these answers. Okay. So both options, if you type in calculator, you get the same answer. Okay. And let me recheck the upper answer, 5C2, 2P2, 7P4. Yeah, same answer. So I taught you two techniques. Okay. And I believe the upper is more effective, a little longer, but more effective. So first of all, you select two things from here, 5C2, and then you arrange them. 
here out of seven you taken four from here and then you arrange them okay uh, this is a long term technique and this is sometime applicable sometime is not applicable so find number of different codes that include the letter a or the digit 5 or both repeat so he said that include a letter or letter digit 5 or both it means if a is there 5 is missing if 5 is there a is missing or or both are there so can I go reverse process? What's the reverse process? So reverse process, look at here. Both is, we do, like both come together. You see, both, uh, like if I don't uh, take both, this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. It means either A must be there, either five must be there, or both must, must be there. Can I think or reverse process that if, I talk about the total both are not there. So not A, reverse mean, no, I need not a, a not a five, a not A and not five. So this is a planning. So how I can do this kind of planning? Have a look, I show you. In this way, I can save my time, but both techniques are okay. I can do longer technique or shorter technique. Okay, look, again, I make this blow, uh, this box will remain as it is. Copy, and I paste here. Okay, so this is the option. So number one, because I said that, not A. So this A cancel, you see, I cancel A. This five not, look, I cancel five. I cancel five, I cancel A. Now from four, I need two letters. So from four, I select two letters and I put them in order, 2P2. First, I select from 4, 2, and then those letters do I put in order. Sorry, arrange them. Same process, now five gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. From six, I need four letters, four digits, sorry, and then I put them in order. And I believe you got the point, 4C2, 2P2. Let me type in calculator. And answer is coming with me is uh, is coming four three two zero, but he said <clears throat> now I want to subtract from total options. Total options are this one six one six eight double zero and subtract from there. So let's see when, uh, for example, I said that not a I got type given a title not a not s. Okay, then what is the uh, answer? What is it looking for? Is from total options I have one six the eight double zero. 16800 minus this answer. So 4320. And if I subtract and let me check the calculator, 16, sorry, not zero, 16800 minus 4320. And my answer is coming 12480. We can do another way, even as I said before. Same plan, you can take A only and don't take five. Or reverse, don't take A, take five or take both. So this is a longer path. I have done a shorter way. So with, for example, both are not there and subtract from total options. I believe you got my point. So I hope so. This concept is clear. Let's go for the next part. A security code is formed as a random. The probably the code is DE formed. It means, okay, let me paste once again. Okay, and now he said DE fo followed by these numbers. Okay, it means now we are bound to take DE here. You have no choice. He said that DE bound, we are bound. Okay, and numbers between this one. So it means I, I just show you, uh, I think we have many choices. So that is why I copy and paste it many times now because let me check how many options I will select. Okay, and then I decide. <clears throat> Okay, so if DE is fixed in the first two positions and between, let me write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven digits available, but let my question here, if is, can I use one here? Answer is no. Can I use two here? No, three, no, four. I blocked four here. See, this is called blocking, blocking. Blocking means four is, is no more available, gone. So, and five is also blocked here. I write here four five because he said forty five hundred, but these digits are not block. I cancel four and five now one two three four five. So these five digits left behind and two places are there. So five p two, 
and 5p2 is, if you check in the calculators, 5p2 is coming 20. So 20 possible options are there if, if the numbers are fixed DE here and starting with 45 here, one can come, two can come, one can come, three can come, six, seven can come, seven, then many options are there. And total options are how many? 20. So same story if I, I, uh, this is a four or five, okay, now I can plan four and six. Here four block, here six blocking. And here four block and here seven blocking. Okay, now same story. It means this is the same. If I fix, look at I erase. If I four and six blocks, so one, two, three, four, five. So five P2. And I believe you got my point. So I think you're understanding how I get this. Wait a minute, students. Five P2. Five P2. Again, his answer is coming 20. And same here, 5P2 and 20. You can ask one question, sir, why we cannot proceed? Because he said, uh, look at there, from 44, 45, this one, and this even this is acceptable. This is acceptable. Uh, and till what? 5,000. We cannot proceed above go for, if I use five here, students, and put any numbers here, for example, five, one, two, three, this will cross the boundary. So it means I, I can't use five or six or seven, it is a first place. And I think it's clear 60 answers are there. And what is that probability? So probability of all together, so what is the probability students? So probability, if you're looking for, and how we, I, I will get the answer, the probability is 60, I'm writing it up, and total options are one, six, eight, double zero. One six eight double zero. So <clears throat> if I check it, I got the answer probability is one over two eighty. So I hope so. The concept is very, very clear. And let's go for next question. <clears throat> next question is number six. In the game, Jin throws three dots. Okay, and on and on board. This is called a turn. Like when you, he will, he will throw three darts on a board. This is called a turn. And the center of the board is called bull's eye. Okay. And the random variable X is a number of the darts of the turn. If hits bull's eye, the probability distribute given. Repeat again. X is a number of the darts. The turn hits the bull's eye. So it may be, hit, it, it may be not hit a uh, zero time and one time, or two time, or even three time. <clears throat> so probability X is given, so zero, uh, let, okay, it uh, hits the zero time, one time, two or three times. And you know it very well, the probability is given and sum of the all values equals to one, you know, is basic criteria. So we can make a one equation. So 0 0.6 plus P plus Q, plus 0 0.05 is equals to one. P and Q will stay here, and these both values will go on the other end and subtract from one. So one minus 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.6, it is giving me 0 0.35. Equation number one, done, okay. <clears throat> Same way what is given the mean, you know student, what is the mean formula? You know it very well, multiply, 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 and add them all. So look, I'm finding E of X. So this multiply, I got a zero. This multiply P, one's a P. And we multiply to Q and e, and this is a 0 0.15. But this is given by him 0 0.55 and P plus 2Q and plus 0 0.15. So P plus 2Q and this will subtract and I get a 0 0.4. Okay, so when I got a two equations, I bring and solve them simultaneously. So copy and paste here. Okay. Okay, so let's proceed. What is a way, you know, sign change, sign changes, cancel out. I got a Q and from 0.4 subtract 0.35 is 0 0.0.0. .0. <clears throat> so the Q is done. Now let's go. This value, I can plug in any question. I plug in there. So P becomes what? 
0.35 minus this answer, and I got 0 0.3. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, it means the table is very clear now. And next part, he's asking variance. We have a special formula. So e of x square minus e of x whole square. There's a mean actually, you know, and mean is given by him 0.55. Okay, what is this solution? What is this pain? So this is a square of each like, like here, just multiply, 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 and add them. But in this way, I will put square and multiply, put square of one multiply, square, put square of two multiply, put square of three multiply, then add them all. There's no need to waste time. I'm starting from here. One into one square into P. So one square into P, which is 0 0.3. Plus, second option is two square into Q. And 2 square is 2 square into Q, which is 0 0.05. And then 3 square into what? 3 square into 0 0.05. And minus mean is we have it already available, 0 0.55. And put square and this whole in a bracket. Okay, student, this is a variance formula. And I believe nothing hard for you to understand, inshallah. And if I calculate in calculator and I'm typing in what answer I get from here after subtracting 0 0.6475 There's a variance. I hope so. It got a point very clear. <clears throat> Next part. Jim is practicing for a competition. Okay. And... And he repeatedly throws these three dart darts on the board. Okay, three, uh, three. Okay, all. So this is a repetition, repetition. Okay, and if the x is one, and um, if if the probability that x is one, so x is one. Student means that we talk about the p because one is a p, and p will take what for the p value is zero point three. It means as x is one, so probability of favor is zero point three. And naturally, Q probability is 0 0.7 because he talk about the that uh, if, if one, one dot lands on a bull's eye. So it, he said at least three of the 12 randomly chosen. So at least, so whenever he gives you ended value, last value, for example, at least three of 12, what at least three? Where is total 12? So I can write here N equal to 12. So this topic become a binomial probability N, N, C, R, Q to power n minus r, p to power r. Okay, now he said that at least three, at least three, at least three. How to write it, students? It means x value. Okay, let me write all. You can understand, inshallah, this line. And whenever in exam, you confuse students, so try this way. And when it's binomial formula, binomial formula, this is the binomial. So it starts from zero. So zero, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Although there's no need to show examiner. So at least three means I need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need all. I don't want to, I don't want one and zero. And some of the all values, you know, it is one. So can I say, find the which I don't want, subtract from one, exactly why not? So probability is one minus x is equal to zero plus x is equal to one plus x is equal to two. Now let's try apply the formula students, one, and I'm using this formula here. And you know, n value is 12 and r value is zero. So I'm, I'm using it now, 12 c zero, two brackets, then 12 c one, two brackets, and then 12 C2 and two brackets. And 12 minus zero come on the first bracket, 12 minus zero and zero goes in second bracket directly. 12 minus one and one, 12 minus two and two. So first bracket is coming Q and Q is 0.7. So I'm just saving my time, 0 0.7, 0 0.3. I'm not writing zero beside of it. And when I type in calculator, make sure this is one, this is one, in this way I can save my time. And 12C1 is 12. Okay, I'm typing in calculator. Okay, students. This answer after, this is a 1 minus 0 point. Okay, I'm just typing. And, and this is a 
I'm just doing shortcut. I'm avoiding my time. So 0 0.747 is the probability of that, of the situation, what he's asking for. <clears throat> so I hope so, student. This is done. Let's go for the next part. Find the probability that Jim first, you know, first success. Whenever first success comes, okay, this is a topic of a geo probability, geo, in which P always comes in the bracket. And for binomial, for just for extra knowledge, binomial, whenever by come, B comes and P. It means uh, in the bracket, sometimes it give you this kind of option. P is probability of favor and it's called total numbers of options. But a geometrical probability would get only P in the bracket, which is we know already P is 0.3. But maybe change the question. He said what? He said first succeed hitting the bull's eye with the three darts on a ninth turn. With all three darts. The all three dots. It means we talk about this one. So we should not discuss about a one or two. All three means 0 0.05. So our major thing is, so P are the favor, 0 0.05. And Q becomes what? One minus that, 0 0.95. And now you see there's no ending value, how much. So he said on first time, he is hitting uh, on, a, on a, sorry, he's get, getting in a ninth turn. So we have a two formula for this kind of chapter topics. One formula, sharp the number, and one formula, bigger than that number. Two formulas only, one equal to number, one bigger than number. Equal to formula is Q to power R minus one into P. Don't forget this formula. And second, second is what student I just tell you, and formula is coming here, Q to power R. So let's start. This formula I will implement because he said at ninth attempt. So let's start. It means X is equals to nine he's asking for. And how to apply formula, students? So 9 and Q to power. So 0 0.9, this is 9 minus 1 into P. And I believe you got a point very clear. <clears throat> and let me type in calculators. The answer is coming with me here. 0 0.0322. 0 3, 3, 2. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The point is very clear. And last question, I think number 7. He has given the question of the probability and mostly this kind of probability plus conditional probability. Okay, <clears throat> have a look. Have a look. Box A contains six red. Okay, and four blue. All right, total 10. So four by 10, six by 10, four by 10. Okay, box B, red. Okay, red are X and nine. So total how many? Nine plus X. If I add them, nine plus X is total. All right, done. And a ball is 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 chosen and run from box A and place in box B. Okay, so as I must write it, otherwise chance of mistake. So six red, and four blue, and total ten. And this I'm writing as well because this kind of question can create issue. X red, and nine blue, and total are an X plus nine. So first of all, one is said that for example. If I take one red from here, so red already X, but when one red ships here, this become X plus one. Here X plus one and down because total is total is X plus nine, but one red shift here. So this nine plus one, 10. So I get an X plus 10. Make sure every denominator remains same. This will not change. Okay, now let's see now. So if I shift red from here, then what is chance of blue? So nine over nine, I will write here. Because when I shift the red ball there, blue, uh, no change, and remain nine. But if I shift red ball shift there, so total becomes 10, that is why it remains same. And what about the, if blue is shifted? So if blue shifted, this nine become 10, and this is a, remain, this is a nine become 10. So I'm writing here 10 blues. And, and if I shift one blue there, so nine plus two, that is by X plus 10. And if blue shifted, so X will not change, X remains same. I believe you got a point how I handle this one. So he said uh, the filter pro probabilities in terms of R, uh, X, sorry, done. And now he's saying show that probability both balls are this one. Both, uh, both balls are blue. So last branch he talked about. So this into this, let's try to do it four over 10 into 10 over x plus 10. And luckily they cancel out and four over x plus 10 proved. 
<clears throat> this done, let's go for next part. It is a given that probability both balls are chosen blue is one by six. Given that, you know, uh, that whenever given that, the, the both blue probability chosen is one by six. Okay. Uh, and the probability that both balls are chosen are blue is one by six. So this is, we can put equal to one by six. So even this is the same. So if I put it there, so four and, um, okay. So four over, 10. If I put this equals to what students equal to 1 over 6 because he said, this he said in terms of x, I got it. Now he's given in num terms of number, I got it. Cross multiply, 6 multiply this, multiply there. So I get a 6, 4, the 24 equal to x plus 10, 10 subtract from here. I got a 14. So I got a 14 students. This x is done. Now he, what is saying here? He's saying probability that to 3 SF, the ball chosen from box A is red. I repeat my words from back box A, red. And given that the ball chosen from red B is, is a, uh, chosen from B is red as well. So given that, what is given that? I will do was first that one. So box, uh, given that the ball chosen from box B. So red from box B. So let's see now uh, red. So red from box B, red from box B, but how to answer? So answer technique is that this branch plus this branch, I will do it, I will add. So let's start six by 10 um, into X plus one over or an X plus, no problem, I will do it. Plus this branch and this branch. And I got a four over 10 into X over X plus 10. This is a given that situation, okay? I cut from here, bring on the other side. So I'm here writing here, this is branches, but same time, each X I put by 14. So six by 10, 15 over 24. Okay, four over 10 into 14 over 24. So <clears throat> let's try to solve it. Uh, first of all, I will solve the condition of this one. So 6 divided by 10 into 15 divided by 24 plus 4 divided by 10 into 14 over 24. This is giving us 73 over 120. So I got a given that condition, students, this upper, this is done. Now I talk about uh, uh, what is the method. You know it very well. It will come conditional probability. When I will find it, it will go directly in denominator. Okay, what comes in the numerator? I just tell you, you will write the word given that as an and, a, and, the and, read all together. The chosen the bo box from A is red and from box B is red. Repeat. So from box A is red and from box B is red. So let's see which branch. It means red, red. This topic is the top. So top branch I'm looking for, six by 10. It means I will take the first branch, which is I have it already, which is the first branch here. So I will, I will, and this mean, this means, student, this means. has to be three by eight. And now I'm typing this uh, in calculator divided by 73 divided by 120. And my answer is coming with me 45 over 73. And I hope so. Oh, sorry, he said what? He said no, not or sorry. We he said he have bound us because he said here 3 SF. So when is right 3 SF is coming, probability is not or I'm bound to write it, not or. <clears throat> So 0 0.616 is our final answer. And paper is completely over. I hope so, students, you understood well. And uh, pray, uh, pray for me and best of luck for the coming exam. And inshallah, I hope so, you will do good. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi